Hamza, you got to do the honors, bro. You got to take the first fight, ready, man. Are you ready? Are you ready? Shukriya. Shukriya. What up, everybody, and welcome back to Islamabad, Pakistan. I got you balloons. Today, I'm so, so excited. We are about to meet up with a Pakistani food vlogging legend, Hamza Dabati. Before I came to Pakistan, I had no idea who that was. I hopped on TikTok in a couple of my earlier videos, and I looked for what food is viral all around here in Islamabad. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Good, good. And you? Oh, I'm very well. Your country? Uh, United States. Oh, good. good yeah, good. what's your name? My name is Bilal. Bilal. Oh. Miranam Brent. Brent, nice good to meet you, Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Oh, really cool, like a bunch of flower shops over here. As I was saying, I had no idea uh, who Hamza the Body was. In a couple videos, I hopped on TikTok looking for viral food, and his videos were some of the first to pop up. So I, in an earlier video, I went to the vi viral burger place that he suggested. We tried going to the viral uh, paratha place that he suggested, but that was closed. But right now, we're heading to a place called TJ Tandoori. I don't know if it's a new restaurant, uh, but he tells me they're gonna like roll out some new menu items that we are gonna try. Really, really dig Hamza's style, so super excited to meet him, and also really, really stoked to chow down on some delicious food. I've been told we're gonna chow down on dosa. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my friends? I'm fine, and you? Oh, very well. Miranam Brent. Yes, sir. Yes. My name is Omar Khan. What's your name? My name is Omar Khan. Omar Khan, what's your name? Abdul Ah, very nice to meet you guys. Shukriya, take care, Thank take you. care. Oh, the smiles are out and about. It's a little cloudy today. We got some heavy rains earlier. It's about five in the afternoon right now. Uh, so traffic's just starting to pick up. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> oh, and I got great news, everybody. Minutes before I started making this video, I found out that my Pakistani visa has been extended. I'm gonna be here while well, the, the visa has been extended for 60 days. I don't know if I'm gonna stay all 60 days. Um, but there's just so much I want to accomplish. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pow, pow. Nice to meet you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay all 60 days, but 30 days was not enough here at all. So super, super stoked. I get to stay longer. I'm headed into Karachi in just a few days. And now I can finally go to Hunza Valley because uh, as I told y'all in my earlier videos, my flight was canceled and then torrential downpours came and uh, the weather's been disastrous. So. Let me know where else I should go in Pakistan now that I got 60 more days, y'all. I'm so, so hyped up about it. Okay, we're looking for TJ Tandoori. The directions uh, on Google Maps <clears throat> were a little vague. It said it's behind like this mall. All right, we're gonna walk around and find out what's uh, really, really good. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Uh, Okanani Kiyohai. No English. Oh, uh, no, I, I tried speaking Urdu. My bad. Uh, oh, I, I've been trying. Apkanan Kiyohai. Miranam Vaida. Miranam Brent. So nice to meet you, my friend. Acha. Ah, oh, asking asking what your name is in Urdu. I'm I'm just struggling with it so much. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you, my friends? Very nice to see you. You having a good day? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pakistan. Zindabad. Zindabad. Pakistan. Zindabad. <laughs> oh, I love this country so so much okay we're definitely in some markaz here we got the burnout rest whoa whoo almost witnessed a, a, a car accident assalamu alaikum how are you brother how are you ah nice to meet you Brent. Brent. brent i'm looking for what is your country uh united states united states yes i'm yeah. looking for tj tandoori the restaurant do you know where that is TJ uh, TJ Tandoori and Chai. I think they the TJ Tandoori and Chai. Yes. Yeah, TJ Tandoori Chai. That looks familiar. TJ. No. Oh, it says I'm four minutes away. Maybe we gotta walk a little longer. Okay, I'm gonna go somewhere else and try to find it. Chew it, brother. Okay, I guess we're four minutes away. Even though the it seemed like he had dropped me off uh, at the right location. Oh well, a little stroll through the Marcos won't hurt anybody. Aha. All right, now we got it figured out. We're actually going back over there, and it's behind the flower shop. Assalamu alaikum, brother. 
place is jumping today. A lot of people out. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. How are you? How are you? Very good. Good, good. Good, good. Oh, being around these people, it just gets me so, so excited, so, so happy. Oh, all right. This is the Floral Village, it's called. That makes sense. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I have rice from Holland. Beautiful. All imported. The all imported from yeah, where? From Holland. From Holland? Yes. Dutch flowers. Yeah, wow. This from Pakistan is imported flower from Holland. Those look beautiful. And this is Shukat Flower Shop. shop. Assalamu alaikum, brother. I like your shirt. Love Pakistan. Yeah. Pakistan? I like Zindabad. I, I, I'm going to TJ Tandoori. Is it? Is it on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do I walk this way or do I walk that way? This one. I can walk this way. Shukriya, brother. Nice to meet you. All right, boom. TJ stands for traffic jam. Dandori chai. Sara dosa. Masala dosa. Cheese dosa. Ooh, locked in. Locked in. We're good. Oh, it's a little outside action. Uh, Hamza said him and his crew are going to be here. I don't know his style. I don't know what's going to happen. I think that's him. Is that Hamza? Yes. Ah! The man, the legend. So nice to meet good you, my friend. You, yes, yes, you, yes. Thank you, you so much for, for meeting me. No, we had to do it this for you. I was like, you know, like Brent is here, so we have to show him some kind of hospitality. Oh, I appreciate no, I'm that, sorry, man. I couldn't, like, we couldn't do this before because, like, we've been really busy doing work and all. So, like, this is a good day to do it. We literally called the owner here as well just to make sure that everything, you know, goes all right. So, yeah, let's just check oh, it out. Perfect, man. I'm so appreciative. Are these your partners? Yeah, Brent, so nice to meet you. Ali and Faso, yeah. so nice to meet you guys. Let's uh, try let's... some kind of dosa yeah. here, right? And some tandoori chai. Let's and... chow down, my friend. <laughs> All right, just catching up with Hamza. They're over here making the fire chai. Look at this. Never seen chai made this way in my life. What is going on here? What is happening? Huh. Look at down here, we've got all the, all, all the chai mugs. I mean, like, literally, like, burned alive in that. And then the fire inside. Oh, and then, you boom, it's done. It's dead. It drops in there. I'm going to have to have these guys explain what is going on. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, okay. And it's, it's like dripping, like, liquid chai into the cup. i got to swirl around here. What is going on? I don't want to get my eyebrows burned off. This is nuts. Never seen anything like this. Wow. Okay, so yeah, they just poured it in the cup. Okay, so they've taken they've taken the chai, which I believe is in that that sterling silver, that stainless steel mug over there. They pour it into the boiling hot cups with the fire, and then they pour it into there. This is, this is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen before. Yeah, wow! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Boy, I should have tied my hair back. About to get torched here. This is insane. Hamza, can you can you explain what is going on here? I, I have no <laughs> idea what that is. I'm gonna I'm actually experiencing this for the first time as well. So this is my first time as well. Maybe Shai Sab, you can explain to us. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new concept called the Shola Chai. Shola Chai. Shola Chai. Shola is like fire. It's like a fire tea. But I call it a shola chai. Shola is a local Pakistani word. Ah, okay. So it's oh, like a big flame. Big flame. It's a flame tea. And the flames so are big. Put the, <laughs> put the tea on fire. That is really cool. Oh. Now nice. you're going to do tandoori for you. Okay. The same shola chai done with tandoori. Ah. Wow. This is just spectacular. Look at that absolutely sizzling, boiling. It's pouring down the side there. It's a little cracked, I think. Some spilling out. This is nuts. Never have I ever seen anything like this. <laughs> wow. This is going to bring the customers in, man. Like, <laughs> people are going to flock to see this. Wow. This this is an absolute show right here. Hamza told us we were going to get dosa. I didn't expect to be involved in some, like, uh, Cirque du Soleil fire dancing uh, type of... This is, this is Boss Vegas. <laughs> ah! I think before your hair catches fire next I, time... I'm saying, man. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put any uh, flammable product in. I'd be toast. Wow. And the pieces are breaking off. But look at that. Straight up boiling. Woo! So nuts. Wow. I think this is the concept is that they heat the, the pots uh, in, the, in the tandoor. Mm -hmm. And what they would do is that basically get those pots in the chai 
and it gives the very tandoori flavor to the chai. Oh. So that's why it's called the tandoori chai. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So that's so the the smoky flavor. Yeah. The tandoori is going to be infused yeah. in the chai. Yeah. 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 I've never been more excited to try a cup of tea in my life. <laughs> what a show! Wow. They should sell tickets to this. This is this is this was an event. Unreal. So, so Hamza, for, for my followers that, that aren't from Pakistan, can you explain to us what a bati is? Uh, a bhati is uh, basically a caste. So, um, like just like other caste in the, in, in the country, you will see that bhati is a very popular caste and they love food. So that's why like where I come from as well, where, because my family has been, a, like if you go to my family, you will see that the only thing that they talk about is food. That's why I make food as well. <laughs> I love that story, man. So from, from a young age, you were oh, yeah. infatuated with food and... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So so while while the while the tea was, while the chai was cooking, uh, we were catching up and and uh, just talking about how we both got started. And man, his story is amazing. He didn't he didn't even start making short form videos uh, until just about three months ago. And in that time, he went from zero to like 1.1 million followers. Oh, there goes that batter, the dosa batter. Wow. And if you've never had dosa before, it's essentially like a fermented pancake made of lentils. Wow. That's circular motion perfection. Whew. We we are seeing art created here, y'all. This is this is absolutely spectacular. I had no idea anything like this was gonna happen. I didn't even look up the restaurant online. I wanted to be surprised. I just knew they had dosa. And we see all this. Un unbelievable. Oh, and he's got more of the more of the pots ready to be charred, ready to be smoked. Ooh, he's drizzling some of that oil. Yeah, basically like uh, everything is on a hot plate. Okay. So everything is like very little bit of oil. You cannot pour oil, too much oil on the hot plate. You can only drip a lot. Oh, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You can see that. He just has to drip some oil here. Wow, what a, what a, what a delicate dance with the amount of oil and. Look how thin that dosa is. This man is the, the dosa master over here. Ooh. Oh, wow. We got, what, is that, what does that mix? Some potatoes? Uh, uh, what, what is it? What is this? Uh, are this potatoes? Masala. Masala. Alu masala. Alu masala. Alu masala. Alu masala. Yeah. Wow. Well, that looks so fresh. The color is coming off of it. Unbelievable. We are. This is, this is so cool, y'all. The power of the internet. I sent a DM to Hamza about a week ago. I said, man, I love your stuff. Let's meet up. A week later, we are here, making it happen. Wow, some, a some, some ASMR action for all y'all at home that really dig that. This is crazy. Okay, while that is being cooked, we're going to make it. Ramali paratha, please. Oh, okay. So our man's gonna make a ram ramali paratha. Yeah. And what is what is ramali paratha? It's like ramal is like a handkerchief. Ramal is like handkerchief. Ah. It's handkerchief. So ramal is basically like a handkerchief. So, so it's going to be as so thin that you can literally use it as like it's like it's going to be like a hand handkerchief. So you'll love the process of how he makes. That's hilarious. The ramali paratha. I've had a lot of cheese paratha. I've not had ramali paratha. Wow. Look how look how thin it's getting as he's whipping it. They weren't joking about the, the, the handkerchief. This is tissue, tissue thickness. Checking back in on what's going on over here, slowly simmering. Wow. It's like he's making a bed, like he's tucking in a bed sheet or something. Ooh, and there comes the egg. Nice crack. Unreal. Got the egg dripped all over it. Folding it. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the handkerchief fold. Woo! Onto the hot plate it goes. Just a little bit of that oil on top. Look at it start to bubble as the oil hits it. Oh. The smells, the aroma coming off of this. This is just outstanding. Got to pull the camera back before it melts. Traffic jam tandoori, it is going down. You can see Hamza's two-person team putting that WRK work in there, killing it with the angles. Dedicated professional team. 
Oh, and here it comes, starting to scrape up the sides, letting it breathe a little bit. You can see the oil underneath just starting to dance. Wow. We are in, we are in for a treat. Hamza, on the spot, your favorite Pakistani food. Um, it has to be Halim. Halim, 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 what is, Halim that? is like Halim is like a mix of lentils, of almost seven or eight different lentils and uh, beef. So and it's beef. it's it's the best thing that you will have. I think I'll, I'll suggest you have a place to try yes, that. Yes, yes, please. 100%. Tomorrow, I will make my way there immediately. Okay, he's starting to spread on the mixture there. This, this, this is a work of art. We're seeing magic created in front of our very eyes here. And I'm so hungry. All I had today was a <laughs> tiny cup of coffee and just like a, like two eggs at a coffee shop. I knew we were gonna be in for a feast, so I wanted to save up. Assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. Oh, and there, what is, what is this he's put on? Doll, that's the doll, okay. Oh, and look, it's starting to get that nice brown color on it. Here comes the fold, tucking the baby in. Oh, precision. <laughs> look, at, it starts to deflate as he rolls it over like there. And, oh, it looks so long, it looks so delicious. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. I think we're gonna have to order about six more of these. That's how hungry I am. Oh, and here comes the cutting. Four tasty pieces ready to go. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm ducking and dodging. I don't want to get into the way of Hamza's team. They are there fast on their feet over here. Oh. There it comes. Beautiful plating, beautiful presentation. And then the last little guy. We're bringing him over. And now, now it's time for this one. What's going to happen here? Oh, it's sliced vertically. Oh, we'll cut it up in nice little squares. Oh. And there's the doll. Oh, look at it spin. And he's got it heating up as well. The paratha has landed. Here it comes on the side. We've now been told he's making the mega paratha. <laughs> what is in store here? Okay, it already looks way, way bigger than the, than the small one we had there. Easier for you to, it's the sheriff paratha. The sheriff paratha. paratha. <laughs> like, like the sheriff. Like, like, what? That's it. That's the word. That's sheriff. It, sheriff. The Thanedar word is sheriff. Yeah, the, the, the name of the paratha is Thanedar paratha, which literally is in, in English tha, sheriff paratha. Sheriff it's basically paratha. mixing three, four different parathas in in one to make this huge. Unreal. Wow. Howdy. The sheriff is in town. He's doing some flipping. He's doing some folding. Again, I'm gonna go around here so I'm not in the way of Hamza's crew. The Hamza homies, the team. Yeah, now I'm gonna call you guys the Hamza homies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just picked up a little handful of that oil. He's patting it down. And here we go, the flipping. The pulling, the folding. Stretching it from here all the way to northern India. <laughs> wow. And you can see it's kind of like the moisture gets pulled out from the heat as he starts to press it down. It almost becomes like translucent, like you can see through it. Oh, thinnest to the thin. Just patching up the little holes, doing some repair work. Oh, it's a two person mission now. They got the whole crew out trying to fold this thing up. Oh, and there it goes. Wow, impressive teamwork. The Sheriff Parata has hit the hot plates. Oh, and what's he got here? Is that, is that some ghee or some butter? It's butter. Butter. Oh, look at that. So rich, making it nice and extra fatty. Oh, and here, here comes, we got some salt. Sugar, excuse me, sugar. Those big crystals. Painting the paratha with that sugar. Oh, this thing is going to be a mega calorie bomb. The butter, the sugar, sweet, savory. And we are entering the fold. Here it comes. Oh, so delicate. 
rolling it up like perhaps you would roll up a tobacco product or maybe something else depending on where you're from. Precision roll, oh, taking that handful of butter, getting it extra moist on top. Oh, you can start to see the butter drip drop right off. Whoa, it's a two-plater. The sheriff has arrived. We got the Ramali parata. We got the sheriff parata. And then, of course, we got that dosa. Oh, this spread just looks off the chain, y'all. Get out of here, flies. Not yours. They didn't, they didn't pay for this meal. Oh, well, let's get a nice little close-up. Zoom on that share of parata. This thing is a monster. This is like one of those food challenges. Oh, we gotta see how much you can eat. Wow, this is almost a mukbang <laughs> with all this food, bro. Nuts. Hamza, you gotta do the honors, bro. You gotta take the first bite, man. Are you ready? Man. Are you ready? <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. Gonna just break a slice of it. Big pull. He's gonna probably dip it in some dal. Is this the first one? Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm. Try Let's do it. Good. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna pull out. Oh wow, look how crispy yeah, it is. Yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and dip it in that doll. And here we go. Pow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. It's so crispy. It's so buttery. It's so rich. It's so oily. And the doll's got that amazing like masala flavor in there. That's, that's outstanding. That video. is all credible. We got a what? There's more? Yeah. Alright, we said we gotta take a video over here. More's going on. I wanna take more bites of them. Mm. What do we have going on here? Oh. oh wow, okay. It's almost like crepe style. Yep. He's doing it uh, in the shape of a cone. Oh what? It's like a it's like a pyramid now. That's like a hat. I might wear that on my head. Wow. Now we got this new guy here and they're bringing it out on this plate that's covered in uh, cool flower design. Mmm. The sweetness um, from the sugar is starting to hit me too from biting that, from biting that parasa. Wow. Okay, it's time for a dose of that dosa. Hamza, can you tell us what we're working with here again? So this is coconut chutney. Coconut and chutney? this is uh, another masala type chutney. masala chutney. Masala this chutney. Masala chutney. Okay. So this is, we've got the dosa over here and I'm gonna do a little taste test. Taste yeah, 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 man. Ready? We've got the dosa over here, right? I'm gonna dip it in some coconut chutney. Big bites, we love it. Oh, yeah. It looks so thick with all the different layers really in there good. and really all the ingredients. Really good. Solid? Oh, oh I'm yeah. stoked. Have all right. Go. Going in for my own dip. Got a big thick piece of this dosa into the coconut chutney. Pow! Mm. Oh, wow. I got half my hair in there. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's nice. It's good, right? The spiciness with the savoriness. Mmm. And the, oh, that's so good. You called it alu, alu, what was it? Potato. Potato. Alu masala. Alu masala. Alu masala. Absolutely incredible. The potatoes, super, super soft. The mix, like the oily uh, dosa on the outside. And that rich and savory and spicy um, alu masala on the on the inside. Just, just, just incredible. An absolute banger. And banger even of now a meal. what you could do is mix this dosa with the, with the dal as well. Oh, mix it, it with the dal. Okay. Another, another, exactly. We're, we're dipping in. Yeah. Boom. Dosa into the doll. Let's have a little. Let's have a little cheers to that. Yes. Uh, Pow! Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That good or what? That good or what? Right? The doll is so good. Um, so savory, so rich. It's got like the sour, the pungent elements to it too. There's a nice little bit of acidity in there. It all just blends together so so well. This is this is outstanding. Hamza's homies, what do you think of the dosa? Give us your amazing, reaction. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Really, really good. But now we're gonna try the, the sheriff as well. We're gonna <laughs> tear apart the sheriff. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna. You this like one of those things video. you would make in like ceramics class if oh, you had yeah. some like clay. Oh. Hamza's first big bite. Mm. That was so crispy. Sweet, crispy, crunchy. Oh, yeah. yep. All right. Off a big old piece right here. Mm. Oh yeah. So sweet. So oily. It's like the definition of addicting, y'all. Like I could 
would, I would crush this on a daily, daily basis. Oh, he took the top down. I love it. Crunch. Mm. Mega, mega crunch factor uh, to the parata here. This is, this is just on another level. And check your watch because it is chai o'clock. It has arrived. Oh, look at that steam coming off of it. Wow. Oh, those are going to be so hot. Those are going to burn my fingerprints off if I try to touch them. We're gonna let those cool down just a bit. Oh, and you can start to see the milk kind of congeal on top. It kind of gets that nice film. Pow. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 man. That's rich, that's milky, that's creamy. It's not too sweet. It's straight up, that's the best cup of chai I've had so far in Pakistan. This is, this is elite level chai. Hamza going in for that first really sip too. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good mix of, I think the tandoori chai was never disappoints. I've had a tandoori chai in a lot of places, but just because it has such such rich aroma and flavor, you'll always, whenever you try tandoori chai, it will be like this. I don't know if I can go back to regular chai after the tandoori chai. This is this is on another level. Mm. Oh, it's so so good. It's uh, if you've never had chai, and the chai I've had back in the United States exponentially different than the chai here in Pakistan. This is almost like a dessert tea, but they love it here. They drink it almost three times a day, morning, noon, and night. <clears throat> Confession, I've become kind of addicted to it. It's so, so just pure and, and amazing. Man, cheers, y'all. And that's that. Major, major shout out to Hamza the Body. Mm -hmm. This guy was so cool, extremely generous, gave me such good advice. And uh, the real star of the show was Traffic Jam <laughs> Tandoori Chai. The dosas, the paratas, the chai, everything was amazing. I mean, this yeah. was just one of those really, really special days. Shout out to the Hamza homies as well. <laughs> My name's Brent Tim from Islamabad, Pakistan, here with Hamza the Body, and I'm saying ciao for now.